It is the fourth day of turkey season. Right now it's midday. I want to show you something that has come out here just in the past couple of days we haven't seen for many months. We have dandelions on the ground. Grass is greening up. We got a fairly stiff wind blowing here, but this guy is our turkey guide. Now this is Brant Detmers. He edits the show together every week. You see him on the credits. This is your thing, Brant. Yeah, this is what I love to do. So. Turkey hunting is his thing, and you can tell that head to toe in camo. Everything, there are a lot more objects here than you can actually see because they blend in, like your binoculars, mm -hmm. camouflaged bushnells. First thing you did when we got here, parked the truck here, started scanning. Mm -hmm. What'd you see? Uh, nothing right no now. cows. Well, of course, yeah, the cows <laughs> are out here, but um, no turkeys. So. No turkeys. But anyway, you're ready for them. You have the, this is a uh, Mossberg Ultimag similar to what I have. It's a different camo pattern than what I have, but of course Brent has the sling on it and the shell pouches right there. A little different camo pattern, but it still blends in well enough. Mm -hmm. You have um, auxiliary pouches. This is, I guess, oh, I didn't see this. This is actually a vest yeah. that has all kinds of pockets in it. Right. With Put it, all different types of calls, Fit. box calls, whatever. What do you have in your hand here? Oh, uh, this is a little ground blind that we're going to take out there, and we're going to wrap around our ground blind out there to help camouflage mm -hmm. our movement. And, and the things that we're wearing on our backs, these things that look like backpacks, they are actually extremely slick. Mm -hmm. what, what are they called? Um, they're they're uh, called lounge, uh, backpack loungers, and um, they're really neat because they fold out. You can get in a reclined position and have your knees up with your gun on your knees and be totally comfortable for extended periods of time. And what I like about it is when you're in that position, you can close your eyes and listen for the turkeys. <laughs> well, that happens really, on occasion. <laughs> it's, it's really great. Well, we are pretty much set to head out there. Now, we're hunting a cow pasture? Yeah, basically. Um, <clears throat> there's a thinned out woods up here that the cows keep thinned out and the turkeys move in through there. They come off of the thicker woods and they they come out and they can see real good, so they kind of like it. They move through there pretty quietly and so on, so we're going to try to set up. and. Okay, now this is private land that we're on. We have permits. have it here in my pocket somewhere. I do, I do. Yes, I do. Not in that pocket. Oh, I know. I put it in this, in this special pocket down here. See these turkey hunting pants, special pouch, carry my license in here. Now this license is one that, that we were drawn, and it's for private land only. Right. Now, we do have these woods in the background right here, our state land. Mm -hmm. Now, we can't hunt there. We can hunt on the edge, but we can't shoot a turkey over onto that uh, state land, so we'll be hunting the private land. Right. This is Tuscola County, not one that you might think of as, as turkey habitat, but with the planting programs they've had and spreading turkeys throughout southern Michigan, they're here. Mm -hmm. So our strategy is, Brant, for the rest of the afternoon... Do the birds move in the afternoon? Yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah. they do. A lot of hunters quit at maybe 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. but they move all day. So we're going to set up down there and uh, see what we can get. So let's, let's head on out. All right. Now, heading out on a cow pasture is not without its hazards. But when you're hunting, these hazards can be a cover scent for your boots if you care to step in them. We chose not to. There's no point in having a cover scent for turkey hunting. Another cows will be coming up to us, I guess. No, there's the calves out there. Ooh, that's a nice little stream. Yeah, look at that. I bet that has some fish in it, some bass. Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful. Should have brought our fishing rods. One more hazard to cross. A drainage ditch. Let the young guy try out the muck. Looks fairly solid. There we go. Uh, by the way, guns are unloaded. Guns are unloaded. The sun was high in the sky. It was about, oh, two o'clock in the afternoon. Across the far pasture, I saw a herd of deer running from left to right. Many had their tails flagging as an alarm signal. There were a lot more than you see here. 
By the time Matt got the camera on a tripod, the last four were heading for the valley. Now, the last one didn't seem to be in as big a hurry as the ones that went ahead. And it wasn't but a minute or two later that they came busting back out from where they just went. Their flags were flying as as if something had scared them. Yeah. Let's be a duck. Look at them over on the horizon going, too. The last of the deer calmed down, walking more slowly and feeding. Oh, here. Oh, oh, Maddie, don't move. Nobody move. Here comes three of them close to us. Over to your right. Pan to your right, Maddie. I told you before that we had a crazy period of deer activity. Well, it's starting, and the deer were coming our way. Look at that. These deer are probably... What do you think, Brent? 75 yards? 50? Yeah. yeah. 50. Here they come. Okay, here they come. Three of them, these deer are really moving. Yeah. Now, they don't see us. The wind is coming. They are running with the wind. But a whole bunch of them have come from that direction with their tails up. Oop! Turn the corner. Isn't this wild? Waving their flags. Now, they don't see us at all. They have no idea we're here. Now our scent could be blowing, should be blowing directly towards them. They're looking at us. Morning. Yeah, they're looking at us. But, you know, when the wind is blowing like this, they can't smell us. I don't think they can hear us because there's too much noise. There's a little stomp. Now, they don't know what's going on. Yeah. See, our scent, there's three of us here, and there's three deer there. There are three noses. They're smelling three guys who have been in a camper last night who haven't had showers, who are wearing turkey hunting clothing that has been in the closet for a year. And look at that. That's sort of an all clear, in a sense. It's sort of a, an alarm. All clear, alarm, yeah. More of an alarm than all clear. But that's how they were running over here, though. Isn't that something? Maddie, I think you can pan over and still see the deer over uh, at the horizon, that other group of them. This is crazy. You know, I wouldn't think it would be the cows that are scaring them. Yeah, look at them over there. Can you see them over there, Maddie? They're all on the... Yeah, way on top there, and they're all by the edge of the woods, and you should be able to pick them out, even if they're small in the frame, because of the sun. Mm-hmm. We figured the deer running close were all gone, and the only deer left were across the pasture, so Brant and I started to set up the blind. As we did this, we noticed one deer was left, and it was staring right at us. That looks like about a 10, 10, 12 point. I mean, if it had antlers. Oh, there it goes. All clear with its tail. Going away, isn't it? Yeah. It's not really a... No, it isn't. It's coming towards us. Yeah. It's sending signals with its tail, but it's... uh kind of mixed, kind of check this out. Yeah, it's coming our way. Give me a break. Give me a break. It's coming right towards us, man. It's trotting. I can't see it right now. It's right behind the tree. Can you see it? Yeah. Still coming. This is weird. You know, I wonder if it thinks that we're three deer here. Yeah, and if we don't move much, oh, this is nuts. These deer are crazy around here. This is totally wild. That deer has been watching us for 10 minutes anyway. Yeah, look at all the tail flicking. We couldn't quite believe that this deer was actually interested in coming closer to us. You notice the lens was shaking a little. Matt didn't have time to put the camera on a tripod, so he leaned against a tree to steady it. And the deer was watching our every move, even though we weren't moving much. That little flick of the tail is an all-clear signal to other deer. Into the woods? Yeah. 
soon enough. No, he's still curious. He's coming along the edge. He's just sticking closer to the woods. This is goofy. This is one goofy deer. He absolutely sees us, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, I, I can't figure this out. It's not, not breeding season. No, it's not like their nature to be curious. Uh. I swear that looks like, it, for some reason, it looks like a buck to me. I don't know, the way it moves. So... Actually, it's beginning to look like a horse or a dog. This is incredible. Flicking its tail, saying that that's, that's a generally an all clear signal. Doesn't like something. This deer doesn't seem all that certain as to where it's hmm. going. Watching a replay in slow motion is like watching Barry Sanders picking and choosing his holes. When deer make those high leaps, they're doing it to get better visibility. You can see this deer looking around when it's up in the air. It runs through a puddle of water, then stops and looks around, checking what we're doing. Little did I know that deer were now moving in behind us. See you later. Now we have deer on two sides of us. Isn't this the craziest thing you've ever seen? Well, there's a doe. It looks like a doe and maybe a young of last year. The doe's ahead. This, this is the craziest turkey hunting trip I've ever been on. It really is. Well, we'll just stand here and see how close they come to us. The wind is blowing from our back. So it's, it's blowing to the, what, to the left of the screen. Where that deer is looking right now. Looking downwind. <clears throat> Matt is off to my left, so the camera isn't looking at the same deer that I'm looking at. I don't see that doe watching me. Oh, she back up and stomp. I couldn't see what the doe was doing, but I did see the two deer lope towards the state land to my right. Now, they apparently had stopped behind a clump of trees because I didn't see him pop out the other side. Crazy deer. place is crawling with deer. Literally. You know, let's see if I can... This will be a kick. Let's see, let's see if I can sneak up with the trees... The trees blocked the deer from my sight, so I knew they couldn't see me. I decided to sneak up to those trees and peek around the sides to get a closer look. Now, they might have been able to hear my footsteps in the leaves, but with all the other deer moving in the woods, they would probably think I was just another deer. Now, my gun was still unloaded, but I felt I should put it down anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> Matt moved over a little, so... He could see the deer better as I was playing hide-and-seek with them. The one deer will stomp its foot, knowing something isn't right. I decided to end the stalemate by stepping out from behind the tree. That's when the doe snorted and ran. Instead of bolting for the thicket, it stopped again. They didn't go far. Crazy day in the turkey woods. <laughs> see if we see any deer around us. One more behind you, Fred. What's that? Another one behind you. There's another one? Two snuck up on you. Two new ones? There he goes, look, look. Isn't this crazy? To your right. All three of us just walked through that area because they were feeding through. As far as I'm concerned, I mean, you can talk about all the scent on your boots and all that all you want, but as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't make any difference. The deer are not spooked by that. They're living down here in farm country. There's people around. Mm -hmm. 
It's just not big news. If they smell our bodies and it blows right towards them, that's a hot scent. But I think off the bottom of our boots, I don't buy it, folks. I think that rubber, the rubber soles, we've been walking through manure. Jeez, we haven't left any trail in there. Interesting stuff. Let's see, what were we doing? Turkey hunting? Turkey hunting, okay. That's the topic.